How's it going guys? It's Carl. We're getting ready to learn some SQL. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you guys are taking notes. Have something to write with so that you can take notes and feel free to go back to this training class at any time of the video and feel free to press pause if you just need to rewind and reset yourself. Let's go ahead and get started with slide one. So what is SQL? SQL stands for the structured query language. SQL lets you access and manipulate databases. SQL became a standard of the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, in 1986 and of the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, in 1987. It was that good. Next slide. What can SQL do? So SQL can execute queries against a database. SQL can retrieve data from a database. SQL can insert records in a database. SQL can also update records in a database. SQL can delete records from a database. SQL can create new databases. It can create new tables in a database. It can create stored procedures in a database. It can create views in a database and it can set permissions on tables, procedures, and views. That is what SQL can do. Next, we have SQL database tables. A database most often contains one or more tables. Each table is identified by a name. In this particular table, we have customers, and, or you can have something like orders. Tables contain records, rows with data. In this training, we will be building our own database from scratch using SSMS, which is short for SQL Server Management Studio. Below is a selection from the customers table, and this is just an example of how we will be building our database out in SQL Server Management Studio. The table above contains three records, one for each customer and seven columns. You have the customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, and country. SQL statements. Most of the actions you need to perform on a database are done with SQL statements. The following SQL statement selects all the records in this customer table. If you just do a simple select star or asterisk and from customers, which is the database. In this chapter, you will learn all about the different SQL statements. SQL keywords are not case sensitive. Select is the same as select all uppercase. But keep in mind that we will be writing all our SQL keywords in uppercase just for best business practice. Last but not least, certainly not least, some of the most important SQL commands are the select command, update, delete, insert, into, create database, alter database, create table, alter table, drop table, create index, and drop index. Each one of these select statements has a definition. The definitions are as follows. Select extracts data from a database, update updates data in a database, delete of course, deletes data from a database. Insert into allows you to insert new data into a database. Create databases, which we're going to start with, allows you to create a new database. Alter database gives you the opportunity to modify a database. Create table creates a new table within a database. Alter table modifies the table. Drop table deletes a table. Create index creates an index with a search key and then drop index deletes an index. With so much more to come, this concludes the introduction to learning SQL.